In this lesson, you'll learn how to navigate around the point of sale screen and process a basic transaction. There are two different ways to access the point of sale screen. You can access it through the navigation panel by going into the main menu and selecting point of sale. You can also access it through the appointment book by right clicking on an appointment and selecting checkout. There are three main areas on the point of sale screen. In the top section, we can click on the Clients button, which will take us to the Client Selection screen. Using this drop down menu, we can select the type of transaction, or we can select any clients who have arrived or have an incomplete transaction. Any notifications relevant to the selected client will be displayed in these areas. Some examples of the icons you may see include Card Not Completed. Alert, Promotion Eligibility, Account Balance, and the Birthday icon. If the client's birthday is within a week prior or two weeks after the current date, then the birthday icon will appear. And here we can see details about any clubs or programs that the client belongs to. To deselect the client and start from a blank screen, we can use the Remove Client button. You can click on the Transaction button to view a list of your transactions, and the transaction count for the day will be displayed on the button. The middle section contains details about the items being processed. Here we can add and manage the items that the client is purchasing. To add an item to the sale, click on a line in the Product or Service column. Select the employee and choose the item type. Then select the item. And you can then edit the quantity, price, discount and tax details by clicking on the cell in the relevant column. The bottom section is used to finalise the sale. On the left is where you select the payment type. In the middle area is the sale summary, which outlines the total amount owing. Here you can apply a total sale discount, as well as see details such as the tax and any redemptions. In the bottom right corner, we can end the sale, print a receipt, access the client card, and access client history. We can also access the No Sale menu to perform other actions such as opening the cash register. Now that you know how to navigate around the point of sale screen, you'll be able to process a basic transaction.